Making Utopia a Reality. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 229. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable, and I'm executive director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 229, August 13th, 2017 edition. Let's talk about making utopia a reality. That's our topic for today. And everything that you see happening in the background here is One Community's contribution to this goal of making utopia a reality. Now, the first thing there is utopia is kind of a hot button word. A lot of people don't like the word utopia. Like, oh, you're trying to dictate or tell me what the world's supposed to look like? No. What we're trying to say is that we believe that an open source and self-replicating teacher demonstration community, village, city, or hub can be designed to meet whatever the needs are of an individual or a group working together to create it. And our goal is to provide the open source tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions for creating that and then let humanity take creativity in whatever direction they want and innovation and their own ideas and modify those and adapt those to create their own idea of utopia. Now, our concept of utopia is cooperation, collaboration, diversity, the world skills coming together with people from diverse backgrounds and with diverse ideas working together with one common value, creating and living for the highest good of all. That is our motto. That's what our organization is about. It's what we screen for when we bring people onto the team. And it's the kind of people that we're looking for to join us in this idea of making utopia a reality. Because we believe that if we create everything that it is that we're doing with the consciousness for the highest good of all, doing our best, and it doesn't really mean that we know what the highest good of all is. It means that we're trying our absolute best to always make decisions with that in mind. And we believe that if we can do that, if we can demonstrate this evolution of sustainability that is one community as it's forming right now, which is taking the physical foundations of, of sustainability, which are food, energy, and housing, and combining them with the emotional foundations of sustainability, which we've identified as highest good education, highest good economics, fulfilled living practices, and true earth stewardship, Putting these things together is an evolution of sustainability and demonstrating the complete model as easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrating as attractive enough to live this way so that people will want to replicate it. So it will become self-replicating. And through this, we believe that making utopia a reality is possible. We believe that it's possible for small groups. We believe that it's possible for large groups. And we believe that it is ultimately possible for our planet as a whole to become truly sustainable and capable of meeting the needs of our growing population, sustainably meeting the needs of our growing population now and into the future through what it is that we're creating right now, through what it is that you see happening in the background of this video right now. This is one community's idea for making a utopia a reality is open source and free shared blueprints and tools and resources to create a sustainable and self-sufficient lifestyle that can be implemented anywhere in the world and is specifically designed to teach others how to create this lifestyle as well and open source and free shared so that it's modifiable, adaptable, and capable of meeting diverse needs and diverse values and diverse ideas. So it doesn't, it's created with the concept and the consciousness for the highest good of all, but anybody would be able to implement this with whatever their idea of the way that they want to live is. This is how we're making Utopia reality. And with that, what I'd like to do is I would like to jump into one week of our all volunteer nonprofit teams progress and accomplishments in working towards this goal. Everything you see happening here in the background is the foundation and we're continuing to build forward on that with the ultimate goal being one community of place that you and anybody that you know would be able to come and visit, experience, and if you like what it is that you see, to take the complete model or any individual component, the food, the housing, the energy infrastructure, the education model, any of those aspects and implement it on your own using our tools, tutorials, and resources, blueprints, and do-it-yourself instructions to replicate it and then hopefully improve it. And to invite 
the world to participate, which we're already doing, but to help inspire additional teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs, the self-replicating concept. And for those people that want to contribute their own open source modifications, adaptations, and changes, we will promote those organizations, we'll work directly with those organizations to be able to support them as well and to create additional components and elements to the complete, you know, utopia becoming a reality suite of resources that we're providing and producing right now. Adding to it indefinitely, additional branches off of the same tree, but building a foundation so people can replicate easily what it is that we're doing, modify what it is that we're doing, and hopefully create something even better. So here's one week of our all-volunteer team's progress and accomplishments uh, working towards this goal of making Utopia reality. Check it out. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team, which includes the Pioneer members, plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, updated the header and other website graphics related to the Compressed Earth Block Village Master Render from last week. Here's what this looks like as part of the Seven Villages online book we're developing. The core team also continued working in SketchUp on the open source outdoor areas of the Recycled Materials Village Pod 6. We added plants, a playground, and created and added three-legged tire planters. We also updated the walking path and added sitting areas around it. And the core team updated the Enviro Artistic Design page with the new graphic and others, plus new content as shown here. Hemanth Kodera, Structural Engineering Master Student, completed his second week with us by conducting additional Earthbag Village construction research for the foundation, French drain design, and waterproofing. You can see some of his initial report here. Hamilton Matika, AutoCAD and Revit drafter and designer, also finished his 51st week helping with the Compressed Earth Block Village design and render details. This week's focus was working on the high quality render details for the East Wing office spaces. You can see some of this work in progress here. Guy Grossfeld, graphic designer, continued helping with the Treehouse Village Pod 7 renders. This week, he ran final high-quality renders for all the internal village perspectives, as shown here. Samantha Robinson, 3D designer, completed her second week working on the interior design for the living structure of the Treehouse Village. This week's focus, as shown here, was adding shelving under the bed design and beginning work on the loft shelving. Rufino Lagoon Dayon, 3D designer, also joined the team and began working on the Treehouse Village internal renders for the dining structure, as shown here. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team completed the final round of revisions for the DIY pipe furniture page. These included reorganizing the order of the sections in many of the images, adding the open source files to the open source folders, updating the table of contents links, and beginning the creation process for the final header and social media images. The core team also finished adding the rest of the text to the PV solar microgrid tutorial. You can see some of the final additions here. Dipti Dondurker, electrical engineer, continued with her 45th week of work on the lighting specifics for the city center. This week's focus was adding additional chair and table details to the social dome. These extra details created program errors, so we're exploring lesser approaches. Bomsi Pulagirtha, mechanical engineer, also completed this initial heat loss into the ground report as part of the city center healing and cooling open source hub. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team continued editing the food self-sufficiency transition plan pages and created the new food procurement and storage plan page, as you see here. 
One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. This week, the core team continued the process of a final proofreading and editing of all 52 lesson plans. This week, we completed the Cognition lesson plan and the Cosmos lesson plan. This brings us to 44 of 52 finished, which is approximately 85% completion. The core team also added our research from last week to the Montessori page and updated all the pages formatting. You can see some of that work here. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, the core team updated and expanded our social media reach by setting up and including another eight networks in our list of those we post to each week. You can see the complete list here. The core team also invested several more hours finishing developing the spreadsheet showing where all our collaborators and volunteers are from. This information is needed for the new graphic and video we're creating to highlight the global nature of our team. And we updated our profile and other details necessary to gain platinum status on GuideStar and added a footer GuideStar link that will take you to our profile there. In addition to this, Samya Manahar, software engineer, web developer, and net application developer, working on the Highest Good Network software, began adding Ember views on the My Account page for displaying details and edit modes. You can see some of this work here. And Vivian Rodriguez, translator, also continued helping translate our overview pages. This week she finished the open source page, as shown here in Portuguese. There you have it. There is one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards the goal of making Utopia a reality for everyone. We believe that it is possible and we understand that the concept of that is different for everybody and thus the reason why everything that we're doing is open source and free shared as a foundation for launching other projects, different ideas, different concepts of what it is that we're doing and also for inviting anybody that agrees with the model and way that we're creating it and also carries the consciousness for the highest good of all and wants to create from that place with a team creating from that place, we invite you to join us. So if you'd like more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content and everything that is that we've been talking about here and a whole lot more, visit our written blog or visit our website. If you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we'll add you to our newsletter list. Or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel or follow us on social media. We are on all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible. You can join us there and manage your updates that way if you prefer. And of course, uh, we like to always say thank you. Thank you for the small donations, that don all the donations that we get. They help support us. Nothing goes to a wage or a salary. We're 100% volunteer unpaid staff. Thank you for the likes and the shares. Sharing our information on social media is the number one easiest way to support one community. If you want to help us out, like this video, share our information, help us spread the word. And of course, thanks for watching to the end. Thank you for the comments that we get. Thank you for the emails that we get. Thank you for all the support and love that we get from the public. We really do appreciate you. And uh, thanks for following our progress. Till next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thanks.